Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm here with a new tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to show how to fix Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on Hackintosh. So before starting, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, then please go and subscribe to our channel and stay connected for the latest updates. Now coming back to the guide, the very first step is to set up BIOS to have Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled on your system. Although your system may or may not have such options, the step is included as there are a few systems that have the option to enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and BIOS, which affects the functionality under Mac OS, if being disabled. Now, boot your target computer to BIOS. After booting, enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, if you have such options, and then save and exit setup, and boot back to Mac OS. My system BIOS doesn't have such options, so I'm booting back to Mac OS, without making any changes. Now, after booting to Mac OS, you'll need a few tools, and texts, which you'll be able to download from the link given under the description. Hack and tool, for verifying that your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules are enabled and being detected in Mac OS. Open Core Configurator, for mounting ESP, and editing config plist, and texts for enabling Wi-Fi and Bluetooth support. Now, open Hack and tool, and verify whether the installed card is being detected under Mac OS or not. For verifying your Wi-Fi, Locate your Wi-Fi module under the PCIe section in Hack and Tool. The Wi-Fi module is usually listed as Network Controller under the Class and Subclass column. Bluetooth can be verified under the USB section. In case, if you're unable to verify the Bluetooth using Hack and Tool, you can verify it from System Information, under the USB section. And as you can see, my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth modules are being detected under Mac OS. But let me show you that, none of them are functional. Also let me tell you that, not all WLAN slot are M.2. There are a few systems with CNVI slots, where even if you replace the card with a compatible one, the card will not be detected at all. This is because of the proprietary connectivity interface by Intel. This means the particular CNVI slot on the motherboard will accept only Intel-based Wi-Fi and BT cards therefore if you replace the card, you must verify the detection of the Wi-Fi and BT module. Here as you can see, no Wi-Fi is there. And here, nothing seems to be functional. Also, let me show you that there is no hardware being loaded under System Info. Under Bluetooth, you may see the Bluetooth model as Broadcom. This is because of a bug. It will always be the same but may differ from the card model you're using. However, this only shows in Mac OS Monterey and later, my card model is also different. Now, open Open Cork Configurator, and mount your ESP. After mounting your ESP, browse to the Kexts folder. Here, you'll need to put a few Kexts. For fixing Wi-Fi, you'll need to use Airport BRCM Fixup Kext, along with Leo Kext. Here, I'm already using Leo Kext, so I'll only put Airport BRCM Fixup Kext to the Kext folder of my ESP. You can find in-depth details on our website, check out from the link under video description. Now, for fixing Bluetooth, you'll need to use some of the Kexts depending on your Mac OS version. Make sure to use correct set of the texts, in order to get your Bluetooth working. After selecting the required texts, paste them under the texts folder of your EFI. After placing the required texts, 
open your config plist, and then add the kext entries in the kernel section of your config plist. Now here, if you're using macOS Catalina or the prior version of macOS, you'll have to keep the entry of airport brcm4360 injector kext, and will need to remove the entry of airport brcm nic underscore injector kext. But if you're using macOS Big Sur or the later version of macOS, you'll have to keep the entry of airport brcm nic underscore injector kext, and will need to remove the entry of airport brcm4360 injector kext. As I'm using macOS Ventura, I'll be keeping the entry of airport brcm nic underscore injector kext and will remove the entry of airport brcm4360 injector kext after removing the entry make sure to keep the kexts in sorted order after the apple alc kext Also, make sure that all the entries are enabled. Now, in the Quirks section of the kernel tab, enable Extend BT Feature Flags Quirk. Now, close Open Core Configurator, and save the changes made to the config plist. And now, quit all the running apps, and eject the mounted ESP. And restart your PC, in order to see the changes. During restart, make sure to reset the NVRAM at least once. Now, the PC has been restarted, and let's check whether the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is being loaded or not. And as you can see, Bluetooth is now loaded. Coming to Wi-Fi, it's also loaded. Now it's time to connect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and see whether it's working or not. And as you can see, Wi-Fi has been connected to a network successfully. Now it's time for a quick speed test. The internet speed is the same on any other device. Now let's see the Bluetooth functionalities. Turning the Bluetooth on and off works, let me just connect any device.
and the device has been connected successfully, and working too. So guys, finally, we have working Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This Broadcom Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module supports AirDrop and HandOff too. So that was it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, just comment down below. Or create a thread on our forum. Make sure to check out the forum for in-depth guides. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like share, comment, and subscribe for more updates. Stay connected and have a great day.